welcome everyone to what is going to be a real short video about this. I posted some on this a while ago. It has a bunch of views and a lot of people have questions about it. So in this video, I'm going to do a level, an, an air quote, instant level 40 character. It takes about 10 minutes to do. First things first is you're going to need to have to, you're going to need to have to complete the game on whatever difficulty. Because once you beat the game, you unlock something called the gauntlet. So if I go, what, maybe here? Yeah, the gauntlet will be here. It'll pop up. You gotta beat the gauntlet, and once you beat the gauntlet, you unlock a difficulty called extreme mode. So in here, it doesn't really matter what we pick, because first we gotta get just get a character. Because extreme, we load a character in. So I'm gonna pick the dwarf, because I just cheesed my way through, uh, my playthrough with the secret character from a gauntlet drist. I've already done the elf, and the archer is really not that special. The longest part about you, this thing by far is the cutscene you guys sit through oh straight here. You guys sit through this twice. You come to the Elf Song Tavern. Tavern. It is a small place, filled with a motley assortment of patrons and grisly trophies. There, you can tell I've watched this one too many times. Just a wee bit. And the patrons are silent as the song, the song washes, washes over, over them, them. One, by one by one. They all, all seem lost in its, its call. call. Beautiful song, isn't it? Shh, shh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this so once the once you get there, so this is your the first one, doesn't really matter what difficulty you pick, you're gonna come over here, save your game. So I'm gonna you know I'm just gonna save over my drist one, because I'm never gonna go back to that. If, really, if I need one. I'll just do that. Ta-da! And I don't use him. I can't use Driz because he comes at level 16. I can't. Like, I, you just, your character has to be level 1. That's why we went. We start a new game. But other than that, we, like I said, beat the game, unlock the gauntlet, beat the gauntlet, then you have extreme. Go back and load a brand new save game up. Come here, save it. We're going to pause it, and we're going to exit the menu. And all right, start new game. One player, extreme, extreme mode. Who cares? The previous same game. That's why we had to do that. All right, we're here at our elf song tavern as a dwarf. And now we get to sit through this lovely cutscene again by a about the tavern and the bar and the lady to the elf song tavern. and the uh, Kelgong's wife who's singing in the background. If you don't know who Kelgong or Keldon is, and or you enunciate his name. There, Late. the haunting I actually, voice we'll meet him in this video. I'll go, and the I'll go talk to him. I'll, I'll go talk to him, walk around for a second. Actually, I actually have to one fast travel one, to his area. They all seemed lost in its call. Shh. Beautiful. All right. It, it, oh, oh tap acts like a madman. What the oh, hell was that? that? All right. So here you're gonna have to cheat a little bit for the um, the cheat menu for Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance One. It's a little different on two. It's L2, no not L2, R2, L1, left triangle, and then you're gonna hit the options button. So we're gonna do it again. I'll turn the level uh, in vulnerability on. Hit return to game again. That the bu our button presses. You, all these have to be held at the same time, by the way. So I kind of turn my controller sideways, and I'm right-handed, so I, as I'm doing it, I, I kind of explain it. My left index finger is holding down R2. This isn't the place for that. My left thumb is holding down L1. Right index, or right middle finger is holding down triangle. This isn't the place for right that. Right thumb is holding down left on the D-pad. And my index finger and my right hand is going to hit the start button or options button. So there's that. We're gonna level warp because some I went through that piece by piece because some people were having a little bit of confusions on how to properly input the cheat. When we go level warp. We're gonna fast travel all the way down to the Hall of Remembrance. All right. And speaking, of, we're gonna since I told you I would go meet him for a second. Doesn't really matter, but not really pertinent to the video. This is ends up being just a curiosity. Keldon. He's the the main, or the siren or singer of the Elf Song Tavern. I had. If I, I shall go face her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, he's. If you talk to him a little bit, you find out that 
his wife still singing because he went to the battle of Baldur's Gate when Eldris slew everybody. And she's just singing, waiting for his return. All right, so that's after you fast travel here, because you guys will have to go back talk to him, we enter back, enter the Black Forge. Now, if you're the dwarf, or I mean, if you're the sorceress, it can be an absolute pain in the ass. If you're the dwarf or the archer, this can be our ambulance track. That'll actually help me a shitload. Perfect. This is what I mean, because a lot of times a lot of these racks are uh, two-handed weapons, and the sorceress can't use two-handed weapons, and you might be stuck with your flame power and a dagger that does like two damage. But this is going to help tremendously. It says we don't have the, uh... Yeah, we have... We're not lost the train of thought. But since we have the vulnerability, obviously we're not going to die, which is the key part. You can try to do this by yourself, but... Even if you did it on easy, any level 1, I'm pretty sure this guy will just one-shot you. With the obvious goal, I mean. Alright. And you gotta make sure that no other, like, pull me in. There we go. Where I'm standing, if you look at north, south, east, west, to the south, like, very southwest and very southeast, there's two corridors, and some spiders will end up spawning or come there and they chase you around. If they actually get up here and you kill one of them before you kill him, I think it may or screw up the experience loop and you're not going to get to level 40 airport instantly, aka in like 10 minutes. So now when we kill him, this is the Onyx Sword, that's what Kel Keldin wants you to use to beat Eldrith. And now this is pretty much just select or touchpad in the PlayStation 4 circle and just go back and pretty much just go back and forth. Constitution, hit point. Okay. I'm just gonna put it all in Constitution, even though it really doesn't matter. Yeah, Dexterity doesn't matter. You can just kind of see I'm just pretty much rapid tapping her. Okay. So yeah, that does 94. And speaking an extreme, you can occasionally you can find some weapons that even outclass the Onyx Sword. It's very rare though. But uh, as we see that, you guys saw me click the new gate, new character, and do all the steps and whatnot. Yeah, we are a level 40 dwarven fighter now. And in my last video, someone commented when they were younger they took the time to go reach level 41, which seemed like a waste because all the characters, you once you reach level 40, you have all your skills unlocked. But now we can just go and waste all these points. I shouldn't say waste. Spend. And we're going to have a metric. I think it's like a few hundred left over. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, 485 points left over. Nice. So now we have our bull at uh, Clanging's Fist, Whirlwind Attack, and Bull Rush. All right. But other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy this sh short, air quote, short, sweet video and whatnot. I guess, like I said, it's nothing special, but I was kept getting a few comments here and there about people not being able to uh, replicate what I did. Or they were complaining that, oh, what you did was fake, yada, yada, yada. No, it's just, I don't think I, I rewatch it. I don't think I fully explained it. The whole button presses and how to, the extreme mode and the gauntlet the best way I should have. But other than that, I will leave it here. I hope you all enjoy it. I will catch you guys in the next video, possibly in the next day or two when Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2 uh, releases for the PlayStation 4 and 5 because I will buy that the day it comes out. And I may or may not call sick to work to play too because I do have quite a few sick, uh, sick days acquired up. But other than that, have a good one, guys. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.